Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Lexol USB rechargeable work light. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Okay, so here we have the light and the charging cable and the instructions. So this has an LED floodlight on the side and a micro USB charging port. It has an LED spotlight on the top, an on off switch, a hanging hook and a magnetic base. So the material is aluminum, has rechargeable battery. The work modes are floodlight high, floodlight low and spotlight on. So this charges with USB. There's some warnings down here. So according to the description on Amazon, this has an 800 milliamp hour battery. So I tried to find the runtime on this. I think the high mode is three hours and the low mode is five hours and then it's five hours for this light too. So let's take a closer look. So on the side here, we have micro USB charging. So that has a cover to make it waterproof. On the back, we have a metal clip. On the top, we have the flashlight. On the bottom, we have the magnet. So if we have some steel here, that will stick to it. So here's a utility knife. It'll stick to the blade of that. So let's test out the function. Oh, I did that in my eyes, that was not good. So this is the side light, side light low, and the spotlight. So let's test out charging this real quick. So this charge cable is just over 30 inches. Plug that in here, get my charger over here. Okay, so right off the bat, we're at 0.46 amps. That's pretty decent charging. And that can change, obviously. So I'm going to go turn off the light so we can see this with the light off. So I have the instructions here. We can use that to test. So there's a tiny bit of ambient light coming in. But to my eyes, I just see a faded white sheet of paper there. So I'll turn this on. And this is on the high mode. So you can see it there. So on this mode, super easy to read. Let's turn on the lower mode. So here, this is also very easy to read. And here's the other mode, the spotlight mode. Also super easy to read. So I'm going to point my camera at the wall from about four feet away and I'll also have the light around four feet away so we can see the light that this casts. Okay, so here's the side light. So there's probably a little bit over a six foot dot on the wall. You can see the edges of it there. And here's the lower mode. And here's the spotlight. Oops. Here's the spotlight. So this is probably right at six foot there. And you can see the edges of it there. So it gets a little yellow towards the edges, but it's very clean and smooth in the middle. Here's the light head on. That's high and that's low. And this is the spot mode. So you'll notice something here is when it's on the lower mode, it doesn't flash. A lot of lights, when they go in the dim mode, they flash really fast. And that's usually not a problem unless you're trying to record them. But this one doesn't seem to be doing that. So I'm going to patch in a video here looking at my car engine so you can see what this would look like in a real use case scenario. Okay, so I'm in my garage. It's not pitch black right now, but it's definitely dark enough that I can't really see detail in my engine. I can kind of tell the intake manifolds here and the air conditioners there. So let me turn the light on. So this is on the high mode. So here you can easily see if we have a leak or something. If we had a radiator leak, you'd be able to easily see that with this light. So let's do the lower mode. Okay, so this works well too. If I'm looking for a leak, I'll probably just use it on the high mode. So if I was reading a book or something, I'd probably turn it on the lower mode to preserve the battery life. But if I'm looking for a leak or in an emergency, I'd probably use it on high just to get a little bit more detail. So now let's look on the spotlight mode. So here's the spotlight mode. So I gotta say, I do like that side light there. It's very bright. Now this does have a magnet on it. My hood is aluminum, but the latch here is magnetic. See if I can get this to attach somewhere flat. There we go. So now it's stuck to my hood latch and that's what it looks like. Of course, if you have a steel hood, you could probably connect it pretty much anywhere on your hood that doesn't have padding. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this around and I'll show you how you can attach this to your shirt. Okay, I have the light here so I can clip it on like so. Then when I want to turn it on, I'll press the side like so. And now it's shining directly ahead of me. Now a nice thing about this, when I press the button again, it turns it directly off. So when you press it once, high mode, low mode, spotlight, but then if you wait a little bit, I don't know how many seconds, when you hit it, it will just turn it off. So the nice thing is when you have it on here, you turn it on when you're done using it, when you go to turn it off, it's not going to shine light right up in your face. Like I'll demonstrate what that would be like. So it's actually getting my chin, but when you leave it on for a little bit of time, you press it, it will turn it directly off as opposed to going into the next mode. So this could also potentially go on a hat. So I'll clip it on there. Of course, we're gonna use the straight ahead mode there. So this would also work for a headlamp. And this could also fit in the pocket. I put it on my collar, but you could put it in a pocket too. 
Okay, so that's the Lexol USB rechargeable work light. I really like the size of this. This thing is really tiny. This would be a great everyday carry light. 25 years ago, I used to work in a shop and I would have loved a light like this. I had a big flashlight. I kept it on my toolbox because I was too big to carry. Something like this could have slipped in my pocket. Of course, back then we didn't have LED lights or lithium batteries, but this is much brighter than that light I used to carry. And it's just so tiny. I like that it has a magnet on it so you can magnet it to things. I like that you can hold it like a regular flashlight or you can read with it like this. This would be great for repairing things if you're checking out a fuse panel. If you're looking under a sink doing some plumbing work, this is waterproof, so if it gets some water on it, it's not going to hurt it. Now, to make it waterproof, you do have to have this thing sealed closed, and I don't know that I would submerge this, but if this got rain on it or splashed on it, I don't think that's going to be a big problem. So this would be great just to carry with you. You could also put it in your luggage, in your car, RV, toolbox, first aid kit even. Now the main thing to consider if you keep this in a say a first aid kit in a car or anywhere in your car is heat's not super great on lithium batteries so you probably want to put this in a low area maybe in with a spare tire or maybe you have a central console you can put it down towards the bottom there. Those are usually cooler areas of the car. You wouldn't want to put it say up on the dash where the sun would hit it and then make sure you're regularly charging it because you don't want the battery to go completely down. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments. If you like this video please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.